Hello, watch lovers. You know what time it is. And with me today, I have Janilda. Hello, guys. And I have Gavin, the executive producer. Pleased to be back once again, Spencer. Janilda, how's your week been? Very busy. You've been very busy. Spencer, how's yep, your week been? Good. Three days to go, people. That's all there is. Three days and then BQW align with BMW at Barons of Boreham Wood. So There's a lot of bees th- in yeah. there. We're just, what can I say? We're just getting flat ready, out. We've got to get getting ready. Getting watches ready. Getting ready for that summer fair. We've got to watch England, Germany tomorrow night. And then it's Wednesday, Thursday. And we will be at the summer fair on Friday. Can't wait. And looking forward to seeing all of you who are going to come and meet us and see what we have. A lot of you, actually. Yes. A lot of people. Yeah, yeah I'm very excited. It's coming. Do you, well, there's something else that's coming before that, Janilda. Do you know what's coming before that? I, I don't know. Well, it's. I don't think it's going to be football coming home. Spencer, you could be the answer to picking up the entire country after tomorrow's well look, result. We've actually looked at it because if England do get through, yeah. we finish at six o'clock on Saturday, and the England England will be playing again if they beat Germany. If they beat Germany, eight o'clock on the Saturday. That is a massive. But ask. let me tell you, if they if they beat Germany, there's quite an easier path through. So. <laughs> All of a sudden, you're a football expert. Well, look, on, <laughs> I've watched the, games with you on the side where we are. On the on the side of the draw, yeah, we are. On. Now, everybody, uh, good evening. Uh, welcome to Monday night um, and that Watch Guy London. As you can see f- um, on our lovely big wide camera, we've got a whole a whole setup going on here. Spencer's brought in all sorts of equipment uh, to show you guys um, a few bits and pieces later on. Um, so if it looks a bit complicated, because it is, Spencer's operating mm-hmm. it, so that could be... Um, so it definitely so is. So that, that could be a bit complicated <laughs> as well. Um, but uh, yeah, we'll, we'll get to that a little bit later. Um so the summer fair, obviously, we've talked about it in the past, and um, and as you just said, everybody's very very excited for it. Um, what about this uh, this watch that you're going to be giving away? Someone is going to win a watch, guys. I just wanted to remind you, and let's have a look at the watch. It's actually the Tudor GMT. So everybody, That's a this lovely... is their last chance, Janilda, isn't it? Yes, guys. So on Saturday, what time, Gavin? 3 p.m. 3 p.m. Uh, we're going to announce the winner and uh, we're going to announce the winner and um, he's going to get this watch. Or she. Or she. Yep. Or they or whatever they associate themselves at these days. Um, <laughs> so if you haven't entered, this is your last chance. Uh, do check out the BQ Watches Instagram channel. You'll find a little post. It's a like, share, subscribe. Tell all your friends, your aunties, your uncles, your cousins, your nieces, if they want to win themselves a £3,000 watch courtesy of Spencer and BQ Watches, it's the last chance to to, to get this done. Somebody will be winning. Uh, Paul and Spencer will be uh, picking up. Yeah. Well, I don't know how we're going to do it, actually. I haven't um, quite decided. Yeah. Picking a ball out with with everybody's names on. Absolutely. Um, and it's, it's something really worth winning. It's a lovely I'm watch. Just a little and bit costs nothing to enter. Costs nothing the to enter. The other thing that's going on as well, Barron's BMW have very kindly, they are going to give away um, a car for someone to use for the weekend, which will be insured and free of charge for them. But... So to some restrictions this, apply. Certain restrictions apply. I can't have an 18-year-old driving some an crazy M3. car. Yeah, But they are giving away, apparently it's going to be a convertible for the weekend of your choice. And that for that, you'll have to attend the event. So what people will do is from their badge that we give them, they will put their name on there. Their name will be on there and entered into... Fantastic, fantastic. Yeah. Uh, Greggy Boy says, good evening. And I reply, Greggy Boy, looking forward to your debut on the show because Greggy Boy will be joining He's us. coming on with us. Greggy Boy's going to join us as soon as these full restrictions are, are, of lockdown are, are lifted. What, on a live or a Zoom? No, he's going to come in. He's going to come yeah, in. I think we, okay. he's, he's over in Essex. I think we can grab fantastic. him in. Fantastic. And of course, Jacob is with us once of again. Of course he is. And Jacob <laughs> Hi, is more Jacob. than welcome. And I think maybe we'll get Jacob on a Zoom uh, for one of the other weeks. So Jacob, sure. um, make sure you get all your watches out ready. Now, uh, wrist roll time. Um, Janilda, what have you got on today? I've got a lovely bimetal day just, guys, with diamond dial. That's a lovely, lovely watch there. Uh, I think you can wear it all the time and then mm. y- you never get bored of it. It's That's just perfect. amazing. Spencer, what are you wearing? I have there Zenith Daytona. Wow. Okay. That's a a nice proper watch. Janilda, the boss gets the proper watch. Nicer mm-hmm. than mine. 
is nicer. Sp- Spencer, what do you think I've got on this week? Uh, I never know with you. You could bring anything out. Have we got the Hulk again? No, there's, there's no Hulk this week. But Janil- Frank Mueller? No. <laughs> Janil, did you know what started today? I have no idea. Is it sport related? Ah, well, ah, okay. ah so I my think... little clue. There is our little uh, Wimbledon tennis ball. He has and of one course, of our Wimbledon. I know what I he's wearing. I have the bimetal. I love the bimetal. Let me tell you, I love that piece. On a Do jubilee you? bracelet, yeah, I think it's very nice. That's the really, bimetal really on the nice. jubilee. And I have to say, Spencer, it sits very, very nicely on my yes. wrist. In Better fact, than the Hulk? Better than I actually really like this, and I, I will tell you, I'm going to Wimbledon next week. I'm oh, yeah. very lucky and very fortunate. I got tickets for the men's quarterfinals. Lovely. When is and that? That's Wednesday. That's uh, yeah, Wednesday week. Um, and so I'm probably going to ask to borrow this again. Okay. And I'm going to go there. I'm going to take loads of photographs with the centre court in the background for your Instagram channel. Okay. Thought that'd be that's pretty cool. cool. Lovely. And that's a pretty cool watch, actually. I actually really do like that. Um, I put up um, one of your watches this week on on the Facebook group, um, on the Rolex uh, group on Facebook. It was the Submariner with the Surty dial. Right. Um, was that the champagne or the silk or the grey? Sil- the grey. The grey. And it had a massive, massive, really yeah. positive reaction. Yeah. Everybody's sort of really they were going very at it. few when they were produced. There weren't many of those people. I mean, even less so now. Yeah. But really, we have a couple in stock, so if if someone wants to buy it, yeah, uh, we're always, there on you're Friday. You're always on the sales, aren't you? I love that. I love that. I tell you what, I did see coming the other day. In fact. Maybe we shouldn't talk about it. Maybe we should just go to the unboxing because this came in and following on from last week's show and I thought this was exceptional. James, run the VT. Hello, guys. Uh, Thank you for following us again. Uh, Today, this morning, actually, something very special came in the post and Kaylee wants to show it to you guys. Um, I really like this watch, I really, really love this watch and hopefully, if it doesn't sell, you're going to be able to eventually buy it at the summer fair. There you go, that's the OP41 mil, Kaylee. I think it's just so nice. I just really like the colour. Yeah. Because obviously we have got it in the 31. Yeah. But I think in the bigger size, it's just so much nicer. Yeah. Even um, my customer... Uh, great guy he said that uh, he was very very upset to sell it but obviously because of the quick turnout yeah. and stuff he was happy to do it but at the same time he said oh look at that colour I love it so at some point <laughs> I went like are you going to sell it or not because yeah, we need one? this watch so. <laughs> but I do understand him it's, it's, it's a beautiful watch and I was really happy with the condition the way he kept the watch is just it's just I mean it's unworn yeah really and this yeah. actually is unworn obviously you know yeah. we get a lot of you can ones see, that come in you can see the clasp it's just perfect there's a sticker as well and it's dated like the 22nd of June so you know it's it really few, is Friday. few days old yeah and um, just came in guys it's so difficult to find those like, and get yeah, this is nearly as hard to get as the tiffany yes yeah. so the fact we've even got this in I've, and hopefully we've still got it for next weekend at yeah. the summer fair so you can we were see quite it. excited to have it i have to say i know it's not one of the more expensive watches out there but um these colored ops we had them on the show last week and that 41 uh, came in literally the day after uh, the red's growing on me massively. Yeah. We sold a couple of the greens, I think, last week as well, Hilda, didn't we? Uh, yeah, 31 mil, 41, yeah. They're yeah. very popular. It's not the most expensive, Gov, but I would say it's the most fashionable at the moment. Yeah, yeah. it really is. Especially the summer, I think they've come out. You have to have it. A couple of um, a couple of um, comments come in from, from our viewers. Uh, Esper Outdoors. Hi, guys. Great content as always. And I want that Tudor GMT for my summer staycation. My Insta is Dinner for Dads. Funnily enough, I did see your name pop up, Dinner for Dads. Um, uh-huh. because you might you, be the winner. You, always, you never know. <laughs> you did put some very nice comments and some very nice emojis on there. Um, v for Victor. Hi, y'all. Will you be accepting Bitcoin cyber currency at your summer fair? I believe you've got stuff in place I now. I think we have we're we set up or close to getting set up, so there is a good possibility. But let us know prior that I can make sure we can do that. Absolutely, Greggy boy, guys. Um, how much do we need to keep to the time slots on Friday? I know you all want to keep it organised. Just wondering if turning up a bit early will be an issue. Um, a bit early is good. What we're actually doing, due yeah. to the volumes we've got, the ten o'clock we've said can start at nine. 
So if it, people can start a bit earlier, look, if someone gets caught in traffic or... We'll try and accommodate yeah. for everyone. But earlier is better. I think the key point to this is is no one's going to be turned away if they miss their slot. We'll make sure that everybody gets Absolutely. seen. Everybody comes through sure. the doors. We sure. want everybody sure. to, to meet you and meet Paul and obviously meet Janilda. Of course. Uh, I'm going to be there with the camera team um, and we are going to be having everything ready um, for next Monday's show. So everybody can get to see what went on at the watch fair and all the all the lovely people trying on the so watches. We may have to do a longer session next Monday to you fit it in. To, well, we're I, doing it. We're, <laughs> we're there for twenty hours. How are we going to fit it? My in editors one are not very happy about working the entire weekend, <laughs> but uh, but we are definitely going to have something sure. ready for for next Monday, sure. which is going to be fantastic, guys. If you do have any questions or any comments, please do pop them in. You know, it's really important to us that you help shape the show. I know we have a, like a hangout on a Monday night, um, but your questions are very much appreciated. Uh, George Johnson, good evening, people. Uh, the Chili Badger, very good evening to everybody. In my part of the world, it's evening time to all and sundry. Well, Chili Badger, let us know where that is in, in your part of the world. Um, Paul Simmons, evening all, very nice OP in the box. Chili Badger, wow, red devil. Um it's interesting, isn't it? The the interest in the OPs and there's still there's the squeeze on them, isn't there? That that, that doesn't seem to be too many around still. Are you so, guys getting a few more in now? We've got a few, but they're not in plentiful, especially some of the more varied colours. But watch what happens when these get discontinued. Yeah, that's you, that's you, when you really people, believe that, don't you? Without question, or they change the colours, or they make them a millimetre small. Something will be done, yeah. or they bring them out on a jubilee. And that will be another collection. One thing's for sure, Janilda, the prices are rock solid on these, aren't they? They are. There's no, there's no softness are, in this market. Especially 41 mil. Yeah, the 41s, very... yeah. yeah. I mean, we haven't had turquoise for a while. On the no. So it's going to be interesting to see what happens when the meteorite comes through. Because that can't be far away now. Yeah. Normally September. I would say just after summer they'll come through. As well, have people asking for the palm or the gunja leaf. Yeah. Yeah, yeah people are after that. I don't know what a gunja leaf is, Janilda. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just telling you. <laughs> what is that? I, I don't know. Good girl. <laughs> Excellent. So it's only Spencer that knows what <laughs> Gunja Leaf is, <laughs> which is really, really good. Um, we're going to be coming to some of these bits and pieces just shortly. Um, Spencer has extensive knowledge on uh, all things watches. And one of the questions that we're always asked is basically about fakes. We covered it in an earlier show. Um, don't take the fake. Uh, do go back through our channel and have a little look for that. Uh, some of the girls came in and we plopped a load down on the desk. But Spencer's brought in a few today. Um, we actually went through the big box and selected some out. And we're going to have a little comparison in a few moments. Um, so... If you've got any questions about fakes and spotting fakes, then do pop them in the comments and we'll do our best to we're go through to those. Exactly. Um, we're going to jump now very quickly to... We're, we're back to you, Janilda, because once again, we popped into the office mm -hmm. and uh, yourself and Kaylee um, brought out a few watches for us to look at. Let's have a look. Let's then. have a look. Guys, we've got our Rolex gloves on, which means one thing, we're going to be talking about gold watches. Gold, gold, gold. This is what we like for the summer, don't we? Yeah, and I mean, some of these pieces yeah. are lovely, aren't they? Yeah, and hopefully they're going to be at the summer fair, and yes. you guys can have a look at them, try them on, why not? Second and third of July, yes. don't forget. <laughs> Uh, the first one I'm going to show you guys is a day date. It's one of my favorite pieces with a great, great dial yeah. that you can um, see. It comes with the paperwork, original papers. Box and it's papers, a 2002, also. and the condition is just. It's great for the year great. of the watch, isn't it? Look at the bracelet, guys. It's just. It's in very, very good condition. The dial, them diamonds and that colour, I think it's I think it's it lovely. Is, it's the perfect day date yeah. if you want a day date, you know, it's, it's the one that you have to choose. Yeah, I agree. I love that. Up next, guys, we have a 2017 Steel and Gold Daytona. Now, this is actually a fully stickered one. Yeah. There are stickers on the side and also on the clasp. So this is completely unworn. I mean, 2017, That's it's great, isn't it, really? It's difficult to find an unworn one. I and see. even one with yeah. stickers nowadays, yeah. you know? And obviously with the black dial, this is such a popular watch. So I'm really hoping you guys will see this at the summer fair, because, I mean, this will be gone. Very, very, you know, very quick. Yeah. Very quick. Yeah. yeah. And this is, again, full set, box and papers. Uh, the next one I want to show you guys is another bimetal, but this time it's a Submariner. 
with a quite unusual diet, I would say. It's For not, a submariner, it's, yeah. It's not that popular, it's this, what we call the dessert diet. Yeah. I think it's, it's a beautiful, beautiful watch and a very different dial if you're not up for the blue, blue, you know? And I think it's so di so different, isn't it? You know, for yeah. people that maybe like the Submariner but don't like the blue dial or anything, I think yeah, it's correct. completely different and there's not many of them. That's a 2001, guys, but as you can see... Look at that condition. The bracelet, everything is completely um, amazing beautiful condition for the age beautiful watch yeah and it's again just if you if you like to buy metal but you don't like the blue dial yeah then the certain dial is the one for you do you know what until i came here it didn't it was so funny the very first time i saw it, this dial i was like is that real and they were like yeah yeah yeah, yeah. it's yeah. just they it's don't just make many not them. very yeah um, easy to find yes what's next katie so next we have a yacht master gold with the blue dial we had one of these with the white dial didn't we and i yes. really like the I, blue dial i on think it. the blue is is very nice because it's not a, a very bright blue it's a yes. quite dark blue exactly with the gold i think it just goes so well this is 2006 box and papers again and Original again paper for it set. is in absolutely excellent condition considering you know, the age and yeah. Again, I really love that and I love the size. I, I think it's a perfect, yes. perfect size. Because we bought one the other day which was the mid size, and actually, when I put them both together, I realised that this one is just it's a great size. I don't think yeah. it's too big. No. And, and it, again, in excellent condition for the age. So, guys, if you're after any of these watches and mm, a I mean, lot, yeah, yeah <laughs> a lot of other watches, obviously, <laughs> we, we're going to have a very, very a big selection at the summer fair you're going to be able to yes. try them on to see if you because i've got a lot of customers coming in and they're not sure about if they want a 36 or 41 and yeah. now you can actually try them on so i think you are going to find the words that I, you really want and i think it's good as well because obviously you know when you look online at the pictures sometimes i think people are like oh the 36 will be fine but actually yeah. when you, they see it in person they try it on they realize what they suit and what they don't suit and i think next weekend at summer fair will just be great yeah. because everyone and can obviously get what they want. yeah and obviously we are going to be there so you don't yeah want you don't want to miss that either <laughs> <laughs> thank you guys thanks spencer i've got a small request i wonder if you can help us out janilda and i have noticed that kaylee's gloves are a little are bit huge. on the big side <laughs> If we're going to do these things, we need to see if we can find okay. a little smaller we'll pair of gloves. Or yeah. we get our hands made bigger. Well, that would probably be easier. <laughs> to be fair, to get a pair of Rolex gloves in a smaller size is probably a bit difficult. Mm. Um, Jacob pops up with having the whole collection. I'm assuming it must be the uh, OP41s would be a dream. Have you seen many people just looking to collect? Uh, I have heard quite a few people have mentioned about collecting, but no, I haven't. But the easiest way to collect is on the mouse mat. Ah, oh, we actually, go. we're going to come to that in a question a bit later <laughs> on. But there it is—the world famous uh, mouse map. Paul Thorpe is with us. Lovely to have you with us, Paul. Um, Hi, looking Paul. forward. God, he can't stay away. I mean, we've got to have the real thing, haven't we, on Friday and Saturday? I mean, Friday and Saturday, we've got Paul in abundance, and I have to say, we are very much looking forward to that. Um, Paul, I hope you are working out on both those arms spencer has been to a specialist now a specialist trainer to work on the movements um and just for anybody who doesn't realize uh, that's on saturday is going to be the arm wrestle championship i think it, the gauntlet was laid down quite a few months ago janilda wasn't it yeah, yeah it was yeah. a while ago and i think we've decided that um the forfeit to the loser is going to be um, presenting their shows in, in a mankini. In a mankini. <laughs> okay, That's so I'm fun. sure Paul will very much look forward to seeing Spencer in a mankini. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> he's been working really hard on that. Uh, the Chili Badger says he's from Brighton, which isn't that far away, and I guess it is kind of nighttime. Um, Paul Simmons. Oh, this is a goodie. Don't give anything to Gavin over fifty pounds in case the dropsies reappear. <laughs> <laughs> That's a very, very good point. That's you may notice. Here. You can have one of those. I can have one <laughs> of those. That's why I've got the. Tudor That's today. why Janilda <laughs> has got the watch, and I don't have to uh, have to touch it. Um, guys, do keep those uh, questions coming in. The Gold Majestic Meatball. Wow, oh, that's a bit of a username. Is Spencer Abramovich? No, not today. Not today. Not today. Um, 
Paul, Paul says, uh, love that surty dial, Spencer. And yes, I am bored. It's raining and I can't get out on my bikes. Because obviously <laughs> I made a comment and typed him saying he must be bored if he's tuning in to, to, uh, to watch us this evening. Uh, uh -huh. Paul, sorry to hear that it's raining, but it is British summertime. And uh, what else do you expect in this country? Um... The Chili Badger says, you have to try before you buy to be sure. That's why this show would be great for me. Um, we're looking forward to having you. I thought a 36 mil was too small, but in person it actually fits, I think, very, very well. That's something you're going to be encouraging everybody this weekend, Spencer, isn't it? To, Absolutely. You know, try, well, try everything's going to be there for people to see and try, and they can get a view of exactly what it is. And how many watches are you actually going to be having down there, roughly speaking? What we got, Janilda? Four, five hundred at least. Four, five hundred at least. Mm. It just depends. Some are being refurbed, but we're going to bring everything, even some watches that are being prepared. See that everything gets polished and refurbed. But for the show, we're even going to bring things that haven't been refurbed. So if there is a watch that I've got one off, that someone can see it, and if they want to buy it, they'll have to wait three, four weeks for it to be refurbed. If when it's refurbed, it's not up to condition for them they don't have to buy it yeah but it will be but we would sh we are showing some pieces not in the condition that we normally show them yeah just so they're available at the show and Janilda, are there any watches you're ex excited for for the, the the guests to see in particular i mean i've been preparing today all day some very nice trays with the best watches uh to me at least i think everyone is gonna love them Okay. Any one watch in particular you're hoping? No, you've got I don't want to say. You I don't want to say. Exactly. <laughs> okay. Let's, they're, they're all. I mean, Gav. That we've got. I mean, we had the video from a good customer of ours, Michael Turner, and Michael Turner can be quoted. He says to us, he has been round the world, and Rolex dealerships have to have 120 pieces, but currently most of them have 40. And he quoted that we have more than double. More than we probably got more than three, four hundred in Rolex, and he quoted that it was quite blown away by what he could see. Yeah, we're actually going to be putting that video out on your yeah, social media yeah, later yeah, we'll on this week there. because yeah. it was a little bit long to go on this show. Yeah, but uh, it's a very, very, it's a very interesting man, wasn't he? Yeah, he, his school teacher, he is very, one of a very kind. clever man, very clever man. Yeah. Any customers you want to remember to give a shout out to this week? Hilda, over to you. <laughs> um, right on the spot. <laughs> I. Uh, let me think. Oh, in that, we'll go to the questions then, shall yeah, we? Yeah, let's okay. go. Okay, we'll get, we'll get back to the, to the customers another time. Um, we've had questions in from Instagram this week and also from the Facebook group, um, the Rolex group on Facebook. And uh, let's say, the subject really was around fakes. We asked the question, ask Spencer anything about fakes. So uh, we've got our regular question givers are starting off with artisan curation. What's the best fake? Why? I've seen everything. I mean, sometimes you have a genuine watch where they've stripped out the movement and put a fake movement in, so that makes it fake. You've seen that in Daytonas, on Submariners, re-engraved serial numbers, um, bimetal Daytonas made to be still. So they changed the parts years ago. There's such a difference in the two. You could buy a bimetal, you could re-engrave it from a 116523, change the three to a zero and make and change the pushers from gold to steel and make it a steel Daytona. It's there's endless. I mean, we know what we're doing. And every day when a watch comes in, we check it. Our watchmakers check it. They look under the glass like we're showing. Yeah, here we're going to be coming to this little machine in a second. These. So it's endless. The tricks and the, the lengths people will go to to defraud you. And that's why it's challenging enough for us with having all the equipment yeah. never mind if you haven't got a watchmaker and you haven't got the expertise the next question we have is from imaginarium have you ever bought a rolex to find out later it was a fake and what was the end result right um i could lie and say no but i'm going to be totally honest here have i ever bought a rolex that's fake no i bought several probably <laughs> tens of rolexes that are fake you have to I mean, it's impossible not to. Um, you do your money. Sometimes, depends on the idea, you can go back to the person. But generally, if you've bought a fake, they've got a fake ID and everything else, you haven't got a chance, you've done your money. And would that be a case of you didn't have the equipment with you perhaps to look through? Or did, um, did experience, the equipment, watchmakers. So you're saying it was probably quite a few years ago. A number of years. Sometimes I'd be on a show where we'd be busy and you just 
be given all the information. Again, you can't even rely just on papers. There's so many things. And now that's why, and we'll go on to show you here, yeah. the insides of the watch. The outside can be perfect, and they can steal a, a movement that can be worth two, three, five thousand pounds £5,000. There's so many parts, yeah. re-engraved yeah, cases. Let's say if you don't um, see the movement and you don't open the bracelet, there's so many watches that I think no one would ever tell. No, I you mean, can literally... Every, I would say Buy every say, every yeah. week we see something with a re-engraved case or yeah. a movement taken out or a dodgy bracelet on it or a fake dial. Yeah. It, there's, there's countless details. Uh, Jacob uh, just pops up with a really good point. It's just crazy what people will do to sell these Frankenstein watches. Always buy the dealer, not the watch. Oh, it's a wise man, that yeah. Jacob. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's move to the next uh, question. Next question is, huh, what's the difference between a Swiss fake and other fake watches. I think uh, that refers to people advertising some of these replica watches as a Swiss. Swiss the Swiss replica. fakes will generally have a better movement, than Chinese or Hong Kong. Or well, the Japanese movement, yeah. yeah. But they're still fakes. But they're still fakes. They're not yeah. sort of better quality or anything like but that. But there are different levels. There are fakes that are 50 quid, and there are fakes that are like yeah. high-end fake, where they go into a bit more detail. I mean, I only got something through today. So obviously on a Monday, we get a number of leads and we get back to our customers. So this gentleman's asking me about a Daytona. So we said, it's fake. Can you tell me, why is it fake? I said, well, the watch is fake. The batons are wrong. And I said, the date is a... 4.30, but it shouldn't have a date. He goes, well, why is it at 4.30? Aren't they normally at 3 o'clock? I said, absolutely. But Daytonas don't have dates. Oh, the, 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 the date, date was at the bottom. The date box, you know, the date window. Yeah. So on most watches that have dates, yeah. they're at 3 o'clock. Yeah. This had the date at 4.30 to look a little bit well, honestly, clever. I'm trying to work out what 4.30 is. You mean it's off-centre? <laughs> off-centre, yeah. like yeah. Oh, It wasn't angle. at 6 o'clock. It was at, no, no, it's at 4.30. But hang on. But this is what's crazy. Daytonas don't have dates. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone knows a Dayton doesn't have a date. But at times, but people who buy these fakes or if they're passed down or left from a relative, they just won't believe it. You know, it's just like, oh, my how uncle do you was know? A, how do you know? <laughs> um, the font's wrong. Everything's wrong. The screw's in the bracelet. But these We're people look at that in a second. won't accept. When someone gets a watch... They just believe it's a fifteen thousand pound Daytona, and they won't hear of it. Yeah. And then they sort. At times, people get a bit angry. You don't know what you're talking about. I'm going to take it to a real jeweler's. A real, a real, a real a jeweler. Reputable <laughs> a real jeweler. <laughs> so exactly that. A real jeweler will probably tell you it's real because they're a jeweler. Yeah. yeah. And they'll come to you and you'll tell them it's a fake. <laughs> Fantastic. So we asked the questions about fakes and all that sort of thing. And guess what? Somebody asked Spencer. Is it possible to buy the mouse mats, please? Oh. They would make a great <laughs> present for friends. So we're talking about fakes and somebody wants to buy your mouse mats. That's no problem. Look, just drop us a line. Oh, that's just gone off there. Just drop us a line. We'll happily send you out a mouse mat. Perfect. You don't have to buy it. Not Excellent. a problem. Um, Steve Murphy asks, um, what is a Frankenstein replica watch? What does that mean? It's made up where it might have parts of the watch that are genuine, but... Obviously, a lot of it isn't genuine. So it have some real Rolex some parts. Some real Rolex it? parts. It is possible, yeah, yeah to have some, some Again, we, we see Hilda, don't we? Original Where someone parts. sends a watch in with a card, and if you don't check the card, the card might be real. Yeah. It doesn't match up to the watch. Yeah. I mean, we see that so much. Yeah. You? It does happen. Right. Guys, if you've got any comments you want to make about uh, replica watches or what you feel about them, um, I mean, I know, I know price-wise... Um, they, they can go for absolute fortunes. I mean, in doing my little pieces of research today and just floating around the internet, I saw that there were watches from sort of 300 euros or dollars, you know, up to like $1,200. Yeah. Big, big money. Mm. Still big money mm, for what is basically yeah. a copy watch. Yeah. But some are a lot better, but they're still a copy. Yeah. And I remember seeing uh, Paul Thorpe's video a couple of weeks ago when he was uh, walking down, I think it was Oxford Street or it looked like Oh, Oxford where Street. someone was selling. Well, they uh, they had, um, yeah, in the window. I mean, yeah. it was like flagrantly touting every rule in the, in the land about, you know. Crazy. About Crazy. counterfeit goods. And I saw his boxes of Yeezys as well behind. So, uh, they were probably and he probably, well. he's probably a sweet shop. Probably sells sweets on uh, at the candy shop, the American candy shop. Spencer, you keep fiddling with the camera. Something happened. No, it just flash went off there. So Excellent, excellent. Up. Um, let's just go back to a couple of things that have come through. Uh, Glenn Corker says, wish I was nearer the show. Would you do a show in York, please? 
it'd probably be cheaper to get him a train ticket to come down to yeah. London than move yeah, the show exactly. to York. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But we'll, we'll give that some thought. Why can't he come down? Ask him. What's yeah, you know? Glenn, why can't you come down? I mean, it's a train ride. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, Andrew James, the fake watches are exactly why I bought my pre-owned from a trusted dealer like BQ Watches. Oh, thank you. Oh, that's right. that's and that's the message, that's, isn't it? That's the yeah. whole point, yeah. yeah. That is the yeah. point, isn't it? Um, Jacob Kendall, did anyone catch Adrian's video of the fake Submariner being blown up by a shotgun? <laughs> Not sure I saw that one. No. Not sure I saw that Must one. be in America. It's yeah. got to be in America. It, it could well be. Right, that's questions over for this week. Um, Spencer, tell us about the gadgets and the gizmo you've got. Sure. What, so what, what is this we piece have of here is a digital microscope. So here, have we got that on screen? We James, can you pop screen. that up on the screen? Okay, so that so has... A pen. Oh, you can use my pen. There we go. No, with a, you can just pull. That's fine. Yeah. Okay. So here we have a digital microscope. So that way I can show you all there the detail in this. So this is a Milgauss here. Not a bad replica. Oh, you need to say it's it's a replica. It's a replica. Get get not, the real one out as well, Spencer. Yeah, we'll do that. So if you have a look there, so this is the replica, slightly off color, but. Some people will think it's absolutely. Oh dying. well, that's good. That's my betting just come up on the. Uh, that's France, fantastic, France, Switzerland. Did you win? Uh, no, it's just it's just an update. I obviously didn't put my phone on some sort of personal setting. So, um, no, it's fine. So here we go. So that's the replica. And I'm going to slide across. If I take that off. Um, no. Do you want to leave that? One there. Okay. Then we can go between the two. Oh, okay. Let's just spend. So when you see that little thing fly up on the screen. There we go. So there's the replica. Mm -hmm. And there I'm going to slide across the real one. Oh, the green is much, much greener, Mm. isn't it? Yeah. That's your mouse map. There we go. So there you can see the detail. What I always say with these watches, they're a lot of money. So you can see the detail there. Look at everything there from the engraving to the font to the color. So that's the real one. So what would I be looking at on this watch um, that sort of makes it feel... Um... To be honest with you, they always seem to get the colours wrong. The font, I mean, that's the original, that's the real one there. See how sharp the font is? Yeah. See the writing on the Milgauss? Yeah. Then... I I'm think I'm going to turn it round because I think having it upside down, I, I think... I think I'd like to... I'm just going to take the fake off for a second. Just slide that around, Spencer. Yeah, so people can actually see it as for what it is. But, right. But, yeah, so... so there we go. From, I mean, that watch... Look at the every, crown. Okay. If you look at the crown there, the three dimensions mm-hmm. on the crown, the engraved reholt there where it says Rolex, as we move down... I read, at, an, I read an interesting fact today about Rolex, where the X and the R sit on the right-hand side and the left-hand side of the uh, of the dial. Right on the on the hour hands, the X should sit on the right hand side, and the R should sit on the left hand side. What at the twelve o'clock? No, on every every hour. So oh, if so. you look at the number five, it should have the X in it on the right hand side, yep, and on which the left it does. has the R's. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yeah, right yep. and lefts. Yep. And Did then, you learn something there, Janilda? There we go. Look on the next <laughs> one. You've got the X. <laughs> so you mean everything? Co- that's that's very interesting. I've never noticed. Did that you never before. notice that? Oh, hello. <laughs> you just call me Teach. Look. Um, I'm the first to admit I don't know everything. I know yeah, most you've things. You've got a lot of time. You I know. So <laughs> all the all the R's are on the left and the X's are on the right. Yep. We're too busy. Um, so that's watches. that's the real one there. We can actually have a look inside. Um, yeah, have a look. Let's see if this one opens up. Yeah, you can open that one up. There we go. So if we have a look, look to the untrained eye, you've got Milgauss on there, Rolex. Mm. What you do find is. It's on these sections that often look poor. No, no, people can't. Oh, they can see the screen. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. If you look on there. Or point it on there. Yeah. Okay. If you see here, this is where they look quite coarse and rough. Right. The back there doesn't look great. Yeah. But it's when you have a look inside. We've kept the the back of this quite loose. We can have a look. Now, uh, the watchmaker, Andy, did tell me. Oh, you just tipped the whole thing up. It did have a double case. Which, uh, this has come apart, but yeah. there you can see it's pretty full. I mean, that's just right. absolutely shocking. Yeah, that's yeah. come out of some sort of Hong Kong sweatshop. Yeah, that's absolute rubbish. Anyway, we'll get rid of that one for now. Right. And there's something else, actually, I was looking at. Um, 
I'll, I'll put that back together, Spence. I'm an expert at these watches sure. now. Um, <laughs> is that on the glass on the um, on the front of a Rolex? On the it, yeah. it has the crown, doesn't it? In little it's dots. It's very difficult to see. It but is, it's, it's it there, is there, isn't it? It, it is there. there. But with that, sometimes glasses can be replaced a bit like you have the glass of a windscreen on a car replaced. Right. So it doesn't always have that. But it's quite hard to see at times. But yes, on a brand new piece. It will. Actually, if we look here, so this is a... F here, this Submariner. I mean, that's been smashed to bits, that one. But that's been thrown around the office, hasn't it? Is it you've had a laugh and a joke with it, I'm sure. There um, we go. Yeah. But that has got what Gavin's talking about there. Oh. Can you see the etching? There we go. But it's quite poor, the etching. Yeah. It's made yeah. up of little dots, isn't it, usually? Yeah. And the quality here, you can see, is quite poor overall. With the I mean, you can see on the bubble, can't you? Is it called a bubble? Yeah. With the date? But you, if you see on... On these replicas, the bubble does not um, magnify like it should. Two and a half times. Yeah, but it's agreed, but it's not. On Two and, and a half times. You've obviously it. been reading up. Yeah, uh, you swallowed. I've done all day. Swallowed an encyclopedia. Today all I've done all day. Is. Two and a half times, Janilda. <laughs> right. The, and ask the, me about the colours. <laughs> so sometimes they tint. They tint the what, bubble. What the date wheels? Oh, the bubbles. Bubble. Okay. What well, about the roulette date wheels? What? What's yeah. a roulette date wheel? Something that he doesn't know. <laughs> Come on, enlighten me. <laughs> is black and red. You have it on certain ah. older date just where it's alternate ah. black and red. No green for zero no, and double zero? No, black and red. Black and red. Yeah. Love that. Okay. Um, so there we go. There's Submariner again. This is quite poor quality. And inside the back there, you could see straight away. But what you got to remember is most people buying a watch wouldn't have access to a tool to open it. But that's absolutely shocking. That is what we call an absolute piece of rubbish. Yeah. Yeah. And it does surprise me, Janilda, you literally get these in every week. We do get them in quite often. And sometimes, I guess when you're used to see watches every day, it's just for us, it's just easy to tell. We don't. Sometimes we don't even need to open the watch or anything. There's just something wrong on the dial. Yeah. The way Rolex is written, there's so many details that gives it away. Spencer, you said something about the smell. Yeah, and um, they're cheap metal. You actually not that it's something you not want that you to go do, sniffing the watches, but <laughs> you, you can smell the metal on cheap fakes that they smell like metal. And is there any one of these that's better than others? This one looks quite decent. This actually, one's isn't it? not bad. Okay, it's not Let's bad. Have a look. Although the colour's wrong. The colour yeah. of the dog. Well, show, show us the... You've got an original over there, haven't you? You've got an original. You've got a real... The crown, real yes. So if we look at the crown on it, the crown's quite poor. Look at the engraving on the engraved reholt on the inside. Actually, interesting enough, if you pointed out, Gavin, the X is on the right-hand side on the markers. Yeah. So that isn't bad, but the quality is very poor. Yeah. It's just poor. The bezel looks poor, everything. If we move here onto the real watch, yeah, it's a whole different ball game. Yeah. Look at that. And look the at, writing look is Look at so the different. writing. Yeah. Look at the quality. Look at the print. Look there where it says Rolex. I mean, you're you're paying for the craftsmanship, aren't you? And I guess yeah, absolutely. On, on, the, uh, on the fakes you're paying well, for. Well, I always say, you th if you... Fake. Um, on these pieces, there's a lot of money. So you're looking for ultimate craftsmanship quality i mean they're a lot of money these pieces they should be yeah so there we have that um if we have a look here this is one that's quite close so this is the older date just the one six sorry the one one six two one six two three so that there is your date just although this has a broken glass um it's not well, you can look at that smashed pieces. That's what should happen to a fake. But the dial on this isn't terrible, mm. in all fairness, if it wasn't all broken. And then we have the original here of this. It's amazing to see them side by side, actually. I mean, you, are you when there. they're side by side, you really can tell the difference. Yeah. Especially when you're looking under this sort of magnification, so yeah. people can really understand what you're talking That's about. It's a fantastic tool, isn't it? Mm. I guess you use it for uh, for all the well, watches. Well, we, we use this so that we can share and show people of what we're seeing or if yeah. there's some... Flaw. 
Absolutely. It's just yeah. an easy way of doing it. I mean, look at the quality there. Look at the movement of the hand. Yeah. How smooth. And look at the crown there. See the detail. I mean, it really is a work of art. Yeah. I think Greggy Boy made a comment. He's just deleted really quickly, but um, or retracted. But I think that it was along the lines of that watch people know watches and everybody else will wear a, will wear a fake. Mm -hmm. Um in fact, there was a comment a little bit earlier about the, um, and it wasn't the APs, it was the, what's the really big? Richard Mint. The Richard, Richard, everybody, I mean, I, I see so many people walking around the street now, because I look, wearing a Richard Mill. Now, I don't live in a, in a great part of town or anything, but obviously they must all be fake. I mean, they must be, they, the, because, or, because or they're, they're too big, much money. Or they've made their money in bitcoins. Yeah, but I mean, it just seems to be too many people walking around with these ginormous quarter watches, of, a million pounds. of which there's only 35 in the world. You know, the uh, Rafa yeah, Nadal. Yeah, that doesn't sound right. Uh, RM35s. Um, not everybody can obviously have one. Um, the Chili Badger says, everything should feel smooth on a genuine no sharp Absolutely. edges. And the weight is a real giveaway. Should be heavy. Sure. sure. Yeah. yeah. Um, something we always point out as well. I always tell someone... You sort of feel the watch and it feels sharp. If it feels sharp, it's not right. Yeah. It should, should be smooth, should feel smooth. And yeah. Yeah. George Johnson says, Spencer, can we walk in on the weekend to the show without a pre booked slot? Can you walk in? It's far better if you pre book because of the other. If you turn up and you haven't booked, we will have facilities there for you to register. But you may have to hang around. Yeah. And um, if you are going to hang around, you're going to be fed. Fed, you, watered. You fed have and a watered. Beer, yeah, you can have a glass beer, of wine. glass of wine, hot yeah, dogs, hamburgers. And then you food. might even forget to come in, but it's fine. <laughs> well, we don't want to come in. They're all queuing up to see you, Janilda, aren't they? <laughs> or you may buy a car before you get to us and then you've done yeah. your money. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So I think the answer to that is, ideally, we'd prefer people to pre-book because that really gives us a little bit of control as to when slots are full because... Um, there are a lot of people coming. You may have to hang. If you don't book, yeah. you'll have to hang around. Yeah. It's a lot better. And guys, I'm going to be there with my team on uh, on the weekend, on Friday and Saturday, uh, with cameras. And I would welcome any of you to join us. Um, we're going to have a little uh, step and repeat board where people can come up and, and have a chat with me about their watches. Or make what a statement about their service and their experience with BQ. Yeah, absolutely. We'd love for you uh, if you have the... Uh, not everybody loves a camera like you, Janilda. So not everyone, I know. Well, maybe you could interview <laughs> some people. That would probably yeah, attract, I can. attract some people. Kayleigh, I would love they can, that. They can all do some interviews. Doing. Yeah, uh, Greggy Boy seventy six says, even if money was no object, I would not buy an RM. Okay. I don't, I don't think I would either. Yeah. But I once said that about Rolex, Spencer. I didn't get it. And there we go. We've, I we've actually never got we've it. served you now. That's it. Yeah, I mean, you really have. And I think actually that's maybe it's an age thing, and maybe the younger generation. I mean, you know, um, maybe your generation see these lovely big Richard Mill watches or the sports stars. Because I see a lot of these watches on. But they're very light. They're, they're sort of big, but they're light. Mm. They haven't got much feel about them yeah. that you have with the Rolex. But for years, many people say to me, oh, I don't like Rolexes. They're big, they're ugly, they're this, they're that. And then six months later, they've had a birthday or someone's bought them. The and they've got a Rolex. Well, you didn't like Rolex. Yeah. Again, Gab, you're a prime example. I am a prime punter. Yeah. I, but maybe it's an yeah. age thing. Maybe it's an but appreciation often, thing. But when people think it's something they don't want to spend their money on or it's too expensive, and then they get it. It's not actually not that bad. Mm -hmm. I'm obviously just gutted. I just didn't start liking them about 35 Correct. years ago and have one. But for many a people, as I say, where I've sold Submariners to people going back 10, 12 years for sort of three, four thousand pounds when a GMT was 1,800, those are the people. How can they not love something? They're getting back three, four times on their money. They're over the moon, yeah. you know? I mean, yeah. what else can you wear every day of the week, the occasional service, and then get three times your money? Not a lot. I mean, Greggy makes, uh, Greg makes a really good comment. 300K for a watch is madness. What on the RMs? I agree. Yeah. I, mean, I mean, I think that's a whole different ball game. It's not, as I say, I have bought and sold a few pieces, yeah. but they've been to order to get for people. But it's... I went out last night for dinner um, for a friend's birthday, which went round to a friend's house for dinner. And as I sat there, I now have this terrible habit of just looking around the room at everybody's <laughs> watches. And as I'm sitting there, and I've obviously never noticed before, you might see the odd... There was one Richard Mill, and it wasn't fake. <laughs> there oh. was 
No, it wasn't. <laughs> and there was two special edition APs on white. Right. Unbelievable. Beautiful. There was one I couldn't even get close enough to without prying as to what it was, <laughs> but it looked absolutely stunning and amazing. So actually, when you pay attention, literally There's people more... are walking around with houses on their wrists, <laughs> aren't they? Absolutely. Which is amazing. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. So the bottom line is that... Um, well, ju just going watches, back to this, with all of this, oh, well, that doesn't even, you the can, doesn't even turn. Oh, you does. can very easily be caught, and we have been. And over the years, I bought dozens of fake watches yeah i have done as I say things not been right had to spend money to correct them movements missing parts missing wrong buttons oh, you just sorry jacob i'm going to take it off and show you yeah sorry i'm talking um, to myself i'm talking to jacob you, ju on you just need that's why i mean jacob wants to see my watch Spencer, what the wimbledon it, yeah put it on, put that's it a beautiful actually one. so i put it i'll put it there and then... oh yeah you can see oh you can see the close-up of the wimbledon uh, turn it can we turn it oh there we go James in the control room is saying state of that. But when all these watches this are close is, up. There we go. That's the Wimbledon one. Yeah. Look at the detail in the green. You don't really see it. Yeah, it, it does really and pop, you can doesn't see it? see all the R's. And, the and to be fair, we are showing this, you know, on a screen, through a screen. You know, it's not like it's plugged straight in. So it's... it's it's not the clearest picture, but it is amazing. Um, and Roger Kenyon has just popped up with, thank you, Spencer. I've just spent the last five minutes trying to find the engraving on the glass of a Rolex I got from an AD three weeks ago. <laughs> I hope you found it. Actually, I'll try. I think now everyone is going to get Everybody's paranoid looking. and just oh. looking at their watches. <laughs> well, here, you can see there, you can see the engraving there between Swiss and May. Yeah. It's, actually really it's, it's, difficult. it's difficult. It's on the yeah. glass, isn't it? Just show it on the Spence, this is where we find out you're selling fakes. <laughs> you can't, I can see it. There, I can see it. There it is. There it is. Where's yeah. your little pencil? Can you see it? There it is. Yeah. It's just down there. there. Oh, well, well. Here, yeah, you do it. No. See there, it's there. It's above the, the A on the... On the yeah, yeah, it's there. Yeah, yeah. There we go. Yeah. There it is. There. This is one I made earlier, by the way. <laughs> wow. That is lovely. There you can see that. Um, George Johnson, this is a question that comes up. What is everybody's fascination, Spencer, with what watches you have? I think I should tell everybody. Uh, George Johnson says, how many watches has Spencer got in his personal collection and what's his favourite <laughs> mm -hmm. watch and why? Spencer, as I right. last I remembered, you're a watch dealer, so you probably have... There is one thing I've always kept private, and Gavin, I won't even tell you. Yeah. I have a number of watches that I've collected over time, but I never disclose. And Janilda... You know, I wear different things in the office, but one thing, it's my private collection that I built up over time, and it's always changing and varying. I don't really get rid of much, but I will never disclose how many pieces. And that's an absolute yeah. nightmare for me and you. I'm going to try and find now, out, you're not guys, in the find office. Out. When he's no, busy, I'm going to You look. will see, I wear, as I say, this Zenith Daytona. I've got um, a Sea Dweller 1665. Or so he dial. just said he's not disclosing. No, and all of a sudden, a no. minute later, I'll disclose a few pieces that I wear, but I will never show. But he's got his secrets. That I have. Mm. Yeah. yeah, you've got to have something that's. Of course, private. you have. Absolutely, of course, you've yeah. got to have things that are private. But now you're a public uh, person. Yeah, well, <laughs> I've so, shown you a few pieces, but you'll never see them all together. Okay. Yeah. okay. All righty. So, of course, now we're just going to be uh, overloaded with everybody every week saying we want to see Spencer's watch collection. <laughs> it's it's an obvious. He's going to have to one day, guys. Uh, Gav, is that rose or yellow gold on the Wimbledon? That's, That's yellow. yellow. Yellow gold. Yellow gold on the Wimbledon. If I hold it actually to that camera, there it probably you gives you a little better shot. But there we go. Um, Stealing yellow. Yeah. Stealing yellow. And obviously that is because but today again, is Gavin, the first if, day of Wimbledon. If you so happen to be at Wimbledon weather. when it's not raining, yes. that's a beautiful watch when it catches the light in daylight. Yes. What about what... when the roof's on? Because no, I fancy this year the roof's going to be then on the whole time. you've got a problem. Yeah. But if you catch it in the daylight and yeah. you get the sun on it, it really is. I promise you, when I take it next week, I'm going to um, take lots of photographs for Instagram of Wimbledon at Wimbledon. Because all the, all the clocks yeah, are Rolex, yeah, aren't absolutely. they? Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Major, major sports sponsors. Um, great. Guys, if you do have any questions that you want to pop to us during the week for the shows, then you know, do let us know. It's really important, actually, because Spencer's been literally kicking my ribs about this. 
like, subscribe and share. We would love for you to share Spencer's channel with everybody so we can open up uh, his following to other people. Um, you know, we're trying to do the best job we can, aren't we, Janilda? I am. I mean, yeah. Otherwise, what do you think? Otherwise, <laughs> I get the axe. Janilda gets the axe. The Spencer will host it on his own, and, <laughs> and then you're you're in, you're in his own. We're going to have to go. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Um, but next week's show is going to be a really, really special one. Following the uh, well, look, the all weekend. of the people who won't be able to attend, we'll show them some footage. Yeah. Of what went on. We we actually have a lot of customers that for many reasons they can't come in, but they would like to see what's what's gonna happen. So we need that gap. Yeah, so it's gonna be a very, very exciting couple of days. We're really looking forward to sharing that with everybody. And by the way, we're gonna have so much to share because we're filming for two solid days. So it's gonna be really, really, uh, really good fun. Roger Kenyon says he found it. What the etching? He yeah. found the etching. Which, you, thank you goodness, because so it came from an AD. <laughs> so thank. Thank goodness. God it didn't come from me, and he couldn't find yeah, it. Then exactly, we'd really be in exactly. trouble. Um, guys, it's been really fun having you again this week. Uh, who's going to do the outro this week? Spencer. Yeah, Spencer. There's your camera. Off if you, go. you remember. Okay. Guys, thank you all for joining us. We hope to see some of you next weekend on the Friday and Saturday at Barons BMW. And for now, all I can say is over and out. And hope to see you again soon. No, 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 no. He forgot his old strap line. Janilda, come on. If you haven't dealt with us, it's only a matter, matter of, of time. time. Okay. See you on Friday. See you, see you at the weekend. <laughs>